I see you here. I wanted to talk about guilt today and how useless of an emotion it is. Okay, so this is a good one. So, What up, what up? I'm back at it again with another Bisexual Men Speak video. This video is going to be all about how do I stop being afraid of dating men? So I already did a how do I stop being afraid of dating women video and I wanted to do the reverse. I think the first place to start with this question is first of all safety, right? So when you are dating a man, you are perceived as gay and across countries, across religions, across cultures, it is not socially acceptable to be gay. So when you are seen in a relationship with a man, you are going to be labeled as gay. And so that might come with the possibility of being physically assaulted or just communicated from certain communities or a lot worse. So I do want to acknowledge at least that real, very real structural oppressive force that does exist. And so that is a huge fear, even before we start to talk about like personal fear. And then next to the personal, which might be like, I am afraid of being perceived as gay. And I think a healthy part of masculinity, especially for bisexual men, being okay with being perceived as gay. And obviously by erasure is a real, real big issue. It is lethal, it is incredibly damaging, and that's true, it is. But there's also an aspect of, am I still attaching certain negative beliefs or negative ideas to what it means to be gay? In addition to the structural ones that we acknowledge, right? Personally, do I think there's still something wrong with being gay or being seen as gay? Do I still think that it makes me less or weak or perverted or whatever? Do I think that that is such a bad thing? I think that's really important, something to overcome and something to address and face within yourself. There's also the aspect of like, a lot of men are mean. And I think a huge part of this is social conditioning. We are not taught from a very young age to be really, really nice and really, really, really respectful to everybody and always smile and be polite. And oftentimes that makes us really mean. I remember when I was a kid in my teenage years and all of that, like, yeah, men were just like mean for no reason, just cruel. Even before we get to start talking about things like emotional intelligence, just like on a basic level, just men just a lot of men are just mean. This kind of makes me really appreciative of men who are emotionally intelligent or who are soft or who are just like kind and nice and easygoing. It makes me gravitate toward them even more. The approach just has to be different. And so even the men who are emotionally intelligent or a little softer or, or whatever, often has to be a bit more subtle in terms of like flirting or even just like letting them know that you think they're nice or cool or whatever, you know? It just has to be subtle. And maybe you might say something about like their haircut in a roundabout way, like, oh, Where'd you get your haircut? Who's your barber? Things like that. And it's like, that means like you noticed that I got a haircut. Or like, oh, where'd you get your clothes? That means like, oh, you think I'm, I'm fly. Like, you know what I mean? So kind of like, depending on the person and the situation, and sorry that I'm making such huge generalizations when it comes to like approaches with a man versus a woman, but just for the sake of this video, I think it might be helpful. So yeah, I just personally find more subtle ways to kind of engage with men than I do with women but that's just me. There's also the huge difference of dealing with a man where it's like, oh, well, we're not sure who is going to be the one in, in, in charge, sort of, or who's gonna be the leader or more aggressive one or whatever. That's a huge difference in terms of dynamics with approaching women versus approaching men. I personally prefer all relationships, regardless of gender, where we are both mutually interested and we are both deciding step-by-step step what happens next, whether we're going in this direction together. I personally am not in to relationships where somebody's leading or relationships where I'm leading. That's just not something that is uh, appealing to me particularly, but you know, everybody's different. So the thing is, is that with dealing with men, it is very different. And it is like this like little bit of a dance of like, oh, well, who is going to be the leader? Who's going to decide how things go? Who's going to be the more masculine party? I don't really like talking in that way because just because somebody is masculine, whatever that means, Means doesn't necessarily mean that they can lead or will lead or whatever. But yeah, for the sake of this conversation, that is another factor. It's like, well, when I deal with women, I'm expected to lead and that's just an automatic. But now with a man, there's all these possibilities. Am, do I still want to lead when it comes 
to being with a man? Or how does it feel to not lead? How does it feel to be led by somebody? And how does it feel to also do this dance of like both of us are deciding all the time what we're doing? I feel like you can get really, really cerebral about that and overthink it a little bit. I always start with bare bones communication, finding people's interests, finding hobbies to talk about, finding things to talk about, and starting there. See if we even can just connect as individuals. Like see if we even just like vibe out and like like each other just as like people can we even just have a simple conversation about like a song or music I, I don't know or like some pop culture thing or whatever and just kind of like don't think about it too much I think that at a certain point it can kind of become a bit like innate and you just kind of like feel it out and it's also about what you're open to but yeah those are a couple of my suggestions it is by no means an exhaustive list but yeah I just kind of wanted to put this video out there and see what you all thought of it if you made it this far leave me some hearts down in the comment section below and also please leave some recommendations and suggestions of what you would tell somebody in this position who is afraid of dating men thanks for watching bye babes